channel. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be unboxing my fender vents that I have um, for my Cadillac. Um, they are the Carbon Fiber Weapon X fender vents. They're super difficult to find and super hard to get your hands on. I was able to get my hands on the last set just because a guy posted on his Facebook page that he had them. He didn't even post them on the website and um, my fiance found it on his Facebook page. He's like, do you want them? I'm like, yes. So he grabbed them for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and unbox them and then I'm going to get them installed tomorrow. So I'm excited. It comes nicely packaged just like this. It's going to be wrapped in um, like styrofoam. Alright, so we've got the Weapon X carbon fiber fender vent. Super gorgeous. Oh my god. Today I'm going to be changing out my front fender vents to the CTSV. So you can see that they are um, black right now. And they're just chipping in like small spots. Um, so you can see kind of the chrome underneath. Uh, I think the previous owner actually plasti dipped these. It doesn't look horrible. But it's a Monet. The closer you get to it, the worse it gets. So today, like I said before, we are going to be changing out my fender vents for the V. Um, we're going to kind of show you how to do them. Um, first side we're going to do is the passenger side. Hopefully we can get the fender vent out without breaking the clips. There are two clips behind here and this is sticky tape. I believe it's the 3M tape that's on the back side. Um, we're going to try and get it out without breaking it. It's going to be difficult. Most people end up breaking it. You can use either a heat gun. We've heard dental floss works. We're going to try and get it out without breaking it. So let's see how good we can do. Right. There's the two clips you can see right there. And we're going to try and get all that out so we can install the new ones. We're going to try and get to them with these. See if these will help.
heavy champion. What is this made out of? Jesus, it's poor. So, we used a plastic, um, what are these called? This is a plastic bondo spreader. We use this along the outer edges right here and just kind of pried off the glue. There's no damage whatsoever to the outside of the fender, thankfully. This is one heavy piece of metal, guys. It is massive. I did not think it was going to be that heavy for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so this is out. And once we get the surface cleaned up, we'll install the new. But we're going to go ahead and get the other side off just so we have both sides off so we don't have to sit there and, you know, struggle. One tab broken, on to the next. We figured out the easiest way, guys, to get this off is to just break the tabs. Don't save them, because it's not gonna work. We're just gonna have to all the way down back there. of the tape areas with uh, just alcohol and a towel. Um, just a soft towel. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get to installing the Weapon X carbon fiber fender vent for the Cadillac CTS V2. On the back, it is just 3M tape. There are no clips, um, but the 3M tape is plenty strong enough. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull the red liner off on all of this. All right. Tape is off. Try to keep it all in one spot. And then now we, when we put it on, um, just make sure you have it the right way because once it starts to stick, there's no going back. So we officially finished and installed the Weapon X fender vents. They look so much better than the original ones. Um, the aftermarket ones just kind of pop on the white pearl. So that was a pretty easy install. If you definitely want to get them, I would get in touch with the owner um, and maybe he can make you guys a set. But thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you like the video and give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.